All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. So we're making pillars today uh, in the center of the garage. These are gonna be the support pillars for the uh, primary beams for the roof. So we've got them all set up here. These are 18 inch square pillars. There's no foam and there's no steel. So this should go pretty quick. We're basically gonna finish up our four foot form and uh, start going at it. We also cut us some longer chamfers yesterday. So we have eight foot chamfers that should go all the way to the top which I think will help with some of the form lines and things like that. So yeah, we're doing something a little bit more unique. We're gonna do two pillars at once because they're only 18 inches. We'll only need kind of like a little bit of rammed earth per lift. So we're gonna basically go into this one and then into that one, add some color into this one, into that one, add some more color into this one, into that one. And that'll probably be, we'll probably get three or four lifts per bucket on each one. The other thing we're doing is we're running two rammers today. Um, we figured it'd be easier instead of trying to transfer between each time. We're just going to have a rammer in each column, see how that goes. So yeah, a little bit unique, but uh, basically still rammed earth. Check it out. What we did was kind of set, set them up like a fan blade. So we started with this one, because this one has the, <laughs> Uh, turnbuckle on it. We started with this one, set it up to that edge, and then we did this one, and then we did that one, and then we're going to do the other one. So it'll, it, it's kind of like a fan blade. Uh, that allows us to use four foot wide forms uh, to make an 18 inch uh, square column. So yeah, like I said, a little bit unique, but pretty much all the same stuff, just creative form work. The issues we ran into is we need to put these chamfers in first because of the way that it is and so, because we can't attach the chamfers at the bottom once the form piece is in because it's only 18 inches square the other solution was to lower me in by my ankles on the telehandler but um you vetoed that for some reason for some reason i mean my mom was an osha representative for her company so i feel like if she saw me doing that i'd get a very stern phone call uh but anyway so we're going to chalk line it at 18 inches exactly, and that way we know exactly where the chamfer is supposed to go. So that's what we're doing now. chamfers are in. All right, Luke. We're going to put the last end cap. Once that guy's screwed in, we'll be ready to go. You're done. Tape it up and ready to go? Yeah, tape it up and let's go. So we're gonna do full buckets. You're gonna freehand the color. I would start with no color. That way there's more variation because there's no way to get no color once we put color in the bucket. True. So maybe the first layer is no color. And then we'll just see how many layers we get. Okay. And then we can't forget rebar. That's actually, or the, the, the horizontal rebar. I, I put uh, paint marks on the internal rebar to make sure that we see it, so. Okay. All right, let's do it to it. Let's do it. That's probably good. It's still a little creepy on this side's just not mixing quite as well. I just told TJ not to do this. I know! I think 
I think when we first got the machine, it ran faster. And so we didn't have to do this. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. It just doesn't mix on that side as well. How do you get close to the edge without chunking it out? Just let me show you. There's a trick. I'm sure there is. Yep. So what you want to do, you want to work your way in slowly and you want to be, you want to keep it as parallel to this as possible. Okay. Don't go in like this and don't go like this. You got to keep it as parallel as possible all the way around. So what I do, Head's a little wider than the thing. Yeah. If you so, go like this, you'll chunk it. Right. If you go like this, you're not close enough. So it doesn't matter if you like get up close to you it. You can, yeah, you it'll 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 ride on the form. The forms are strong enough to handle this motion, right? But not this motion. Right. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Okay. So yeah, you just sort of Ready for our next form. And rebar. Perfect. Yeah. So five total buckets is do it. So, all right. So we just did all our form work. We're gonna stop and uh, eat lunch real quick, and then uh, get back to it. So, be back in a minute.
do this one again. Since it's already in the mixer, we're gonna have to keep going even though it's raining because we can't get it over wet. So we gotta get it in the wall as quickly as possible. We may need to put a cover over the top, actually. Right there, yeah. When we're done, a rebar in and then uh, we're almost done and the skies have cleared the skies cleared now welcome to texas i guess yeah so you guys made custom forms for the last uh yeah last foot and a half yeah all right the air compressor's off which means we are done tamping yes sir so what's up next? Concrete. That's concrete's going in, and then we are done. Yep. Yepers. We just need more water, he said. Oh, no more concrete? Just add more water, it's still over half full. Okay. Um, cool. Sill in the shower. Oh. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, fill up a fill up a five-gallon bucket. I don't think it'll take more than that. Okay. Alright, so here's the top of our pillars. Concrete it in. All done. What's it doing? We are uh, clearing just the rammed earth that pushed under our forms a little bit. So we're going to clear it out with an air hammer and then cement <laughs> concrete in all this. Yeah, that stuff's really hard once it, once it cures. I mean, that is a good thing. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna attempt something we've never done before. Also something I have been historically bad at. So here we go. Actually, why don't you give me the shovel? Let's start with that, because we're gonna need a lot of material. for the outside of the wall. Yeah. That's four. It's been a bit of a party today, hasn't it? We we went from like cloudy to just pouring rain to now it's sunny with clear skies. I love it. <laughs> All right, so concreting's done. We did the final uh, skim and we have a nice Solid wall, uh, well, pillar, an 18 inch pillar. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. Thanks for joining our adventure.